answer their questions. Well, you don't have to make a statement or anything. We'll do one at a time. Uh, we'll have you here, and if folks have questions for you. Good with her right here. Okay. I mean, if, if you want the people behind it, it's up to you. Have the people stand behind it. Yeah, okay, well, uh, go ahead and point the camera. Yeah, we'll make this look like a crowd. A crowd here. Very good. And, but, but we'll do one at a time. One at a time, okay. So All right. we'll, get you, we'll get you first. And, uh, this, this is, this is, Lucy Venice, L U C Y V I N I S. Mayor, Mayor of Eugene. Let us. Uh, You're going to give me a. Are you perfect? I can put this. I can. I can. Yeah, yeah, let me. Let me uh, I will do what I need to do here. I appreciate it. You've done this. Been, I've done this before. today to look at the Navigation Center because we're in the process of establishing our own Navigation Center in Eugene. We have gone through a robust process, the City of Eugene and Lane County together, assessing the needs of our community to provide better homeless services. One piece of that is we're seeking to establish a 75-bed shelter and that will include a Navigation Center as part of it. So we're doing our homework here to understand how you've done it in Portland, what has worked, learn from your experience and hopefully take away the best possible solutions we can for our own community. Has a problem in Eugene grown as uh, fast as it has here in Portland? It has steadily grown. I think we're, we are, uh, when we did uh, our robust study of our services, we found that we had 130 new people every month needing to access services. And that is a rate that I think we may not have counted that exactly the same way before, but that is a daunting rate of people falling into homelessness. So some of that is situational, they've lost housing, they've lost a job, and some of that are people who are chronically homeless and people who are traveling through. Is it private sector or stuff like that? Yes, actually we have our uh, Chamber of Commerce here today. We have for a long time been very dependent on the private sector in terms of business support for our nonprofits. The work when we look at the providing services for the homeless, it is done by our nonprofit sector working through the county. So our nonprofit providers are a critical answer to our solutions. looking at uh, how the partnership works, how this is a collaborative effort, all the different players that have come into place, uh, the number of people that are served, their, their sense about the satisfaction, people moving on, acquiring the services, accessing the services they need, how they cope with the movement of a, a large number of people coming in and out and needing services. So I think we're concerned about that. We'll be interested about thoughts around the impact on the neighborhood, how it how it has felt to the city as a whole to have this center. So I think the whole broad macro and micro level, we're looking for some answers and some insights. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have to give that back. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, too bad. I don't know if I can get, I don't know if I can get rid of it here. Hang on. It's become part of me. I'm sorry. There it is. Here it is. Caught in the fabric. There you go. Someday these things will be wireless. <laughs> Someday. You know, I keep telling people that wireless thing might take off. Good morning. Go ahead. Fire away. Well, Eugene and Portland are very similar in that the most significant issue facing us at the local level is definitely the homeless crisis. And the advice I'll give is maybe threefold. First of all, we know that when we have a focused strategy and focused resources, we can be successful in moving people off the streets. We did it with veterans, we did it with women, we've done it with families with small children. 
And now what we're focused on is the most chronically homeless on our streets. And just setting up a shelter and hoping people come and hoping that that takes care of their issues isn't going to work for this population. They've been on the streets longer. They have bigger health issues, sometimes addiction issues, sometimes mental health issues. They've been out of the workforce, many of them for some period of time. So this kind of navigation center represents the cutting edge of what makes success, what helps people get off the streets if they've been on for a while. So when people come here, it's not just a place to stay. This is a place where they are navigated to services that they need to get off and stay off the streets. And this navigation center, it's only been open for about four months. It's already been very successful. So I'm going to encourage them to uh, look at ways that we can connect this population, the chronically homeless population, with services. There's one other thing that I'm going to talk to them about as well. Uh, this is a physical facility. This is where people can come and they can get connected to resources, but a lot of people, particularly the most chronically homeless, they're not going to come to any facility. And so we've also deployed navigation teams out into the field that go into the camps, they go out to where people are, and they do the same thing, connect them to services to help them get off and stay off the streets. So that's, that's what I'm going to be sharing today. Um, what other steps have we taken to uh, address homelessness besides uh, the shelter here and uh, having some uh, outreach programs? So, uh, personally, uh, as the mayor of this city, we have doubled the resources going into our joint office of homeless services between our city and our county. We have increased the number of shelter beds that are available. I believe uh, just since the beginning of summer, we've added about 400 shelter beds to our overall system. We have increased the number of resources going towards the transition from shelter in the streets into housing. Uh, that's been very successful. Last year, about 6,000 people were moved off of the streets or out of shelters into housing. And now our big push is to focus on the chronically homeless. And that includes creating more what's called supportive housing. So very low income or zero income housing units that are associated with mental health services, addiction services, job training and the like to help people be successful in uh, their services or in their, their housing. What's also changed is collaboration and partnership. And I'm really happy that Eugene has a close working relationship with its county the same way we do here. And what they're gonna learn about this facility behind us is this is a partnership between the city, the county, nonprofit service providers, and private sector business leaders who've all stepped up together and have all collaboratively owned this issue. So partnership, collaboration, focused resources, connecting people to the services they need to get off and stay off the streets. That's the formula for success. Now the question is how do we scale it to meet the need? Great. Thank you. Thanks.